Countries more exposed to natural disasters such as volcanic eruptions, floods and earthquakes need more robust national databases to prevent these hazards and reduce their risks. Between 2000 and 2012, natural disasters caused 1.7 million deaths, according to figures from the United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction. In a debate held this February at the Royal Society London, a group of experts agreed on the relevance of building a strong national databases so local communities in countries at risk could be better prepared to address these hazards. In order to do so, further training to NGOs practitioners is needed, but funding for that is very limited, according to Kate Crowley. We need to train our staff in systematic scientific methods of data collection and, and that's really the, the crux of it. So if, say for example, one of our staff members in Kenya understands that as part of a risk assessment that they do with communities, they need to also take maybe a GPS coordinate of where they are, that they can note down the information communities are telling them and that are observing in a systematic way, then that can contribute to a national database. Another member of the panel, Professor Mark Pellin, also stressed the relevance of building these data sets. The challenge is identifying data sets that are longitudinal so that one can track how underlying development processes shape the relative importance of those vulnerability drivers. And with climate change as well now, how those drivers change in relationship to a changing natural environment. Um, and, and there's a sense that, that, that those sorts of data sets are starting to come through this collaboration of science with local stakeholders. Building better databases is one of the recommendations suggested in a report elaborated jointly by British scientists and NGOs practitioners from institutions such as University College London, the British Geological Survey or the Catholic Agency for Overseas Development. The report also recommends monitoring science integration within a natural disasters prevention program from its very beginning to see whether science has fostered a positive or a negative change to a vulnerable community situation.